to Unavowed, and when we last left off, I was trying to figure out how to get Kevin out of jail, and I was kind of fucking around, and then Mandana said that um, people use reflective surfaces to travel between worlds sometimes, and that is why the pot worked, and I realized we got a nice shiny mirror right here, so cop lady, buckle in, you're about to see something weird. <laughs> that guard is totally freaking out. Really, Logan? You look tired. Could you try not to piss off the cop? How about you and Mondana just wait outside? We'll take it from here. Dude, we'll be fine. I'll take care of her. Don't worry. I mean, I take care of you, don't I? Mmm... Logan's such a baby. I don't know what he'd do without me. KK, you're sassy. I like it. Can I freak out the cop lady again? Um, maybe you shouldn't do that. Freaking out that police okay. officer probably isn't a good idea. Alright, let's go get Kevin. Woo! It's jailbreak time! Woo. Just like in Jail of the Gothenites! The Trollgate quest, where the Gothenites are held prisoner in the Wittekind mine? <sighs> Never mind. I'm not a nerd like you, KK. Can we go in here? Let's go exploring. You're not like Logan at all. He'd be blushing like crazy right now. Oh. Is that Kevin? Um, maybe you shouldn't do that. Freaking out that police officer oh, probably isn't a good figure. idea. Figure this is the woman's locker room. Alright. This is when Logan usually tells me to close my eyes. I don't do it, but still. <laughs> KK, are you a perv? Forget again? Uh-huh. Oh boy. Hello, sir. I am just going to take these pants. I do yeah, not know I just what got I off shift. for. I'm just- Who the hell are you? <laughs> got caught. get caught again if I go in there. So I guess I gotta be in the sneaking around being in the dead world. Uh-huh. Come on, come on, I'm bored. Well you know what KK, I would love to not be here either right now. But we got shit to do. Oh, wait. You forgot again, didn't ya? KK, do I look like a smart person to you? Okay, what we got here? Then touch this so I can grab shit. Let's see. Oh my god. I got a rag. Am I gonna have to, like, chloroform someone? To the ghost world. Mm. Hey girl. What? Can I touch this in this world? Oh, I guess you're Kevin. I thought you would be sleeping. Um, hi. Forget something? Again?
poor guy. He looks miserable. Quick, touch that mirror and scare the crap out of him. Guess we're gonna have to do that. Dude's gonna think he's crazy. Death! Hi. What the hell? How did you... Why? So you can finish the job? You know what? Go right ahead. My life is over anyway. I don't even care anymore. Why should I believe anything you say? The damage is done. I can't sleep. The dragon haunts my dreams. It screams! And won't leave me alone. Not now. Not ever. So you pissed off the spirit and now it's giving you nightmares. That sounds familiar. I know that. You think I don't know that? But I can't do anything. Not from in here. Break me out? Are you serious? You're serious, aren't you? You put me in here, and now you want to break me out? He's not gonna trust me. Possessed. I'm not sure I understand. But maybe I don't need to. Look, if you can get me out of here, help me send the dragon back home, end these nightmares, then fine. Do whatever you have to. My grandfather always said that the dragon was our family's blessing. It would help us through hard times if we needed it. We could call upon it once every decade or so. Any more than that, if we were greedy, it would become a curse. But we were never greedy. We did everything we were supposed to. The dragon never cursed us. No, we were cursed by you. <sighs> I saw you. He shot them like it was nothing. Then you looked right at me. Those eyes. They're the last thing I remember before everything went fuzzy. I honestly don't know what to believe. But your eyes, they aren't the same. So I'm going to trust you for now. Cool. Yeah, cold, cruel, kind of distant. You looked at me like I was nothing. And I've been... Trying to forget about it. The guard down the hall has a key to the cell. He's opened it a few times. But I couldn't tell you how to get it away from him. Leland. He's an asshole. Whatever you do to him, he'll have it coming. Believe me. Cool. You mean, distract him? Sure, I can do that. I mean, I think I can. The guy doesn't need much of an excuse to be an asshole to me. I might as well give him one. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, hi. Kid, if it's too hot in there, maybe try sleeping without the blanket. No, that's not what I meant. I I mean it's too cold. Oh. Too cold. I, um. I can't do anything yeah. with the rag or the. You said it was too hot. I don't know what to do with sleeping. I must have misspoke. It's too cold. Uh, and that's my problem. Why? Think. Look, kid, if it's too hot in there, maybe try sleeping without the blanket. And we have... I guess I have to get the pants from that guy, too, but, like... Look, kid, if it's too hot in there, maybe way? try sleeping without yeah. the blanket. Jesus Christ! 
Well, how do I distract you people? I obviously need a cop uniform. Do I lubricate it so it does not squeak? Good idea. I will just take this. Thank you, ma'am. Uh huh. And how do I get the pants? Yeah, I just got off shift. I'm just waiting for the rain to. Who the hell okay, are you? Okay, that didn't work. I don't know why I thought that was gonna work. Um. Turn on the water, maybe. What the rag? Oh, oh, gotcha. Ah, oh, gross! I love being sneaky. Oh, I am not getting blamed for this. Time to get dressed. Put on clothes. What am I doing wrong? Well... Look, kid, if it's too hot in there, maybe try sleeping without the blanket. I... do I combine them? What are you talking about? I have clothes. I just need to put the police uniform clothes on. I don't know, I'm going back to the ghost world because nothing makes sense here. Hello again. KK, tell me what to do. What's up? Kevin's got that guard distracted. Now it's our chance to, I don't know, do something. What do you want from me? I'm 10 years old. Well, I don't have a plan. Okay. Oh, come. Girl. <sighs> Look, kid, if it's too hot in there, maybe try sleeping without the blanket. No, that's not what I meant. I, I mean it's too cold. Too cold? Um, yeah? You said it was too hot. I don't know. I must have misspoke. It's too cold. I, sorry, I had to adjust my microphone. And that's my problem. Why? Do I have to go to the, the ladies' locker room to get changed because I am a lady? How do I use objects? I don't know. What am I doing wrong? Maybe I need to go back into his cell and just be like, hey, I'm a cop and I'm in here. Look, kid, if it's too hot in there, maybe try sleep. Oh, hi. Hello, let's go. not click on that, I don't think. It was an accident. Maybe we should leave Kevin alone for now? He's kind of busy. Should I pour coffee on this thing? And I thought Logan was weird. I don't have a better idea. Do you have a better idea? I don't think so. You can't touch- I am tired of this foolishness. your sarcastic comments. Alright. I'm gonna come back when I figure out what to do. Thanks. Hey, alright. So, 
I'm dumb because I Look, just kid, remembered if it's too hot I in there, maybe try sleeping me. without the blanket. No, that's not what I meant. I, I mean oh, it's too ready. cold. Too cold. You know what, kid? I'm done. You can freeze or sweat or both. It's not my problem. Good night, Mr. Guard. I'm sorry, but also I'm not really sorry because you're an asshole, apparently. That's it. Quick, unlock the door. You got it. You did it. So what now? Um... No, I can't disappear like you can. Look at what I'm wearing. I can't just walk out of here dressed like this. Can you get me some new clothes? Anything will work. Anything but this ugly orange prison uniform. I have a disguise. I'm not going anywhere. Can you take the uniform? Leland? He's bigger than I am. I'd look like a clown. I like need something smaller. That orange jumpsuit. I'm not going anywhere. Right. Okay, those are kind of my size. That should work. Still need to do something about this shirt, though. It's a bit small, but it should do fine. Thanks. Okay, you got me a full uniform, but I need a cap to go with it. Can you find one? It'll go a long way in covering my face. Perfect. Thanks. Okay. I think that's everything I need. Could you, um, turn around for a sec? Okay. Give me a minute. Okay. Here I go. Perfect. And, um, thanks. Get the, I guess. The work. Yeah, you're welcome. Now I need you to go talk to the dragon lady, okay? You too, Randy? Yeah, took it right off the bench. Uh-oh. I was only gone for a few minutes. They took it right out of my locker. Who the hell does that? Me. You sure nothing of yours is missing, son? Not that I know of. Huh. Yeah, huh. I probably just can't walk out of here. This was a huh? mistake. Hold it right there! Don't fucking move! Okay, I gotta go up the ghost way then. Hello again! Oh wait, I can't go up that door. Lip. Hey, KK, stop insulting me. I'm trying to best. Your staff is not appreciated anymore. So can anyone just- what if someone just accidentally touches the mirror? They're gonna get sent into the dead world and freak the hell out? Um, maybe freaking out that police- But I gotta- can I leave? Just this way? Oh. Oh no. Huh. Looks like the power's wearing off. It's been fun. Bye, See ya when you die. Thank you. Ah, Jesus, KK. Don't do that. Everything go okay in there? Feeling weird after drinking something strange? Gee, I have no idea what that's like. Anyway, Mondana went with Kevin to the restaurant. We should meet him there. She, uh, just stuck her tongue out of you. Anyway, right behind you. Thanks, KK. Should've told him about the cop I drugged. I missed that option. I just clicked on the other one for some reason. Good. You overturned. So, is the dragon gone? Um, not yet. I was hoping you could come with me. I don't want to face it alone. Sure. 
thank you. In my dreams, the dragon is so... angry. In all my dad's stories, it was never angry. I'm... scared. Anyway, I'll meet you on the roof. No, that's only to summon it. To send it away, I just need to be near the tree. On the roof. Good thing, too. That tea is disgusting. Anyway, I'll meet you up there. I'm scared, too, because I don't want to make a decision. Kevin, something wrong? What happens after? Do I go back to jail? Go on the run? That will not happen. We will put a veil on you. It disguises your identity. You will be safe. Oh, that's good, I guess. We could let him join the unavowed. I mean, we let Vicky join. She's a regular person. And he's been touched by magic. He could talk to a dragon. Kevin? Yeah. Sorry, I was just remembering. My mom was always making me study cookbooks. Making me memorize old family recipes. And my dad would drill me in the kitchen. He always hate that stuff as a kid. But right now, I miss it. More than anything. Kevin, you're making me sad and I don't want to hurt you. I'm afraid they're going to make me choose whether you live or die and I, 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 and it's going to be a tough decision because there's going to be some kind of... I don't even want to think about it. Let's just do this. Get this over with. Kevin Wong, you have come at last. Yeah, well, I've barely slept for months thanks to you. And I have not eaten. I wish to go home. Yeah, home. I am waiting, Kevin Huang. Fulfill your family duty. Not yet. I want something. Kevin. Another winning lottery number. Dude, come on. You overstep yourself, Kevin Huang. And none of the usual five-figure stuff either. I'm talking the Mega Million Sir. Jackpot. Maybe. Maybe not. Huh? Maybe I don't Kevin, care. You're a little bitch. We possess your original lottery ticket, Kevin. Your winning lottery ticket. It's not enough. It's not nearly enough. $50,000 is plenty. Yeah, man. That's more than enough to start a new life. I don't want a new life. This restaurant belongs to my family. It should stay in my family. The bank repossessed this place. I need to buy it back before someone else does. 50000 won't cut it. Do this for me, dragon. Do this, and I will burn the banana tree. Nobody will ever summon you again. I... Is the dragon gonna die if you give the... Don't make me do this. Can I? Yes. Will I? No. The effort involved. The mental oh. strain. It might kill me. It might, but might not. Please, Kevin Huang. Let me go! Oh my god. I hate this. Yeah, this isn't right. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I hearing ethical advice from the person who murdered my family? You're the one who took it all away. You can help me get it back. You owe this to me. I didn't kill your family, dude. Doesn't matter. It still happened. They're still dead. I'm still accused of killing them. You said the unavowed helps people. So maybe help me now and back me up on this? Oh my god. Because it's been in my family for four generations. It stood for almost a century. I'm not gonna let that end. Not while I can still do something about it. So how about it, dragon? Give me a winning set of numbers and I'll send you home. Forever. Yeah, join the unavowed. What? Join you guys? You have experienced the supernatural. You seek a new purpose. It is an ideal match for you. And I'd have to work with her? The one who shot my I parents? She did not. Yeah, yeah, I know. Possession. But I'd still have to look at her all day. Every day. I don't think I could do that. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know what? This dragon is straight up innocent. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't do it, Kevin. I can't do it. It's, 
a building, and this is a creature's life. I, I can't. I can't. And how are you going to do that? It's not like you can stop me. Only I have the power to send the dragon back. Wait, what? You just let the cops throw me back in jail? You can't! That's not right! I didn't do anything! Not yet you haven't. Please, please! Some corporate chain is gonna buy this place. They'll destroy it! Turn it into a plastic boutique or a condo! My family would have died for nothing. You can't let that happen, please! Don't do this! They're, man, Don and Logan aren't gonna back me up. They're not gonna help me. I have centuries of artifacts of my father's life at home. I would fight tooth and nail to keep them safe. Can I fault Kevin for doing the same? I know his pain all too well. It is an ethical dilemma for certain. Regardless, I will support whatever choice you make. Of course you will. I think the Huang family's been relying on this magic dragon for long enough. Whichever way this goes, that needs to end. <sighs> you know what? Knowing the way this game goes, if the dragon gives the winning lottery number, it's probably gonna die. So, I'm sorry, Kevin. Okay. Okay. Kevin Huang? I am still waiting. You can go. I release you. Thank you. I... I'm sorry. I had to try. You understand? For Mom and Dad. I understand. I recently lost a father, too. But this is not the way. Yeah, you're right. I get that. I... always did like this view. I thought I'd be looking at it forever. Okay, I'm ready. Am I in a coma? Can I not get up? What's wrong? Okay. <sighs> Big yawn. Scared me there for a minute. What the? Oh no. <sighs> More rain. It's Too bad I can't do anything about that. Yet. I. I know what's happening because they had it spoiled for me. I was very mad about that. I was looking something else up, but... Ah, uh, you are awake. Good. I was gonna stop the video here. Did I oversleep? I have Sorry a about that. Voice. that. It is no matter. Out. I used the extra time for training. I was gonna say, it's good to see you back at it. It feels good as well. The routine helps. Is Eli downstairs? I thought I'd check in on him. He is rarely anywhere else. Okay, I'll leave you to your training. Thank you. Oh god. This is gonna be a long video because I straight up don't know when it's gonna give me a break. Oh my god. Hey, Eli. Oh, hey. Just a sec. What's up? Just wanted to check in before we head out again. Everything okay? Yeah, uh, sure. I'm still processing everything from last night. That poor kid. Losing his family like that. And then his family's legacy on top of that. I know, but like... Maybe it would have been worth the risk. The dragon might have survived. It's complicated, I guess. You're... Everyone makes me feel bad about everything. But, oh yeah, I possess a pretty bigger issue here. The dragon was innocent, and Kevin will be fine. He's gonna collect $50,000. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Ugh. Something wrong? Nothing. Sorry. Just a headache. It's nothing. How about you head upstairs? Yeah. Sure. See you there. Listen, you. I fought tooth and nail to get back into this body, and I'm not giving it up again now. Where did you come So you from? stay calm, and you stay quiet, until I figure out how to shut you up for good. 
Not everything. Not by a long shot. So, just relax, would you? I can't focus with you jabbering away in my head. I will not shut up. You came in here. I am a mess, first of all. I don't know why you would want to possess me, but, you know, this is your shit show now. You have to deal with it. <sighs> it doesn't matter. You'll go to sleep in time, just like you did before. I'll just have to ignore you till then. Think the fuck not. Hey, you alright? You're looking a little intense there. Me? Sorry, I was just reading that poster over there. That's where they do Shakespeare plays on the subway, right? Yeah, Maury and I used to do that back in the day. Good times. Your you've never bitch. killed Julius Caesar until you've done it in Times Square Station during rush hour. I hate this. I'm not having a fun time, but I don't know what to do. Sorry. I shouldn't be thinking about the past so much. The like maybe Happens to all of us. Don't worry. We all face an uncertain future. Retreating to the past can be... comforting. For some of us, maybe. But I know what you mean. Okay. Well... I'm gonna leave it here for now. Maybe next time I will figure out what to do because I'm really freaked out right now. Um, so thanks for watching, uh, and I will see you guys next time.